Welcome to another painting tutorial. This one we're going to look at the Dark Eldar Talos paint engine, or Talos, or however you pronounce it. So I airbrushed all the greens. Here I'll just show you some uh, still images of that. So the uh, Incubi Darkness and layered up um, from there. And uh, I'll show you all the steps after that. So uh, I did the airbrushing kind of freehand, nothing too special. And now I'm just going to paint on all the base colors. So Lead Belcher is going on all the silver. And uh, if you're used to my tutorials, you'll know that all the, um, all the painting guides will be on my blog. It's like watching paintdry.blogspot.com. And I'll just uh, walk through all the steps here, kind of a part of the step and in uh, four times speed. So Balthazar Gold for the base color golds on things. Um, as you can see, I didn't fully assemble the model ahead of time. I've got a couple sub-assemblies here, and that just makes it a little bit easier to paint, and I'll glue those up right at the end of the whole painting thing. Not a lot of gold on this model, just a little bit around the head and on the uh, the liquefier uh, pistols. Okay, so the um, Rackrath flesh on all the flesh bits, and that's going to basically round out the uh, the majority of the base colors. So after that I'll have a little bit of things here and there, but not too much. And the, so the reason I do the uh, the Incubi Darkness and, and those blue-greens uh, with the airbrush is just to get the nice smooth tones and uh, to give me a head start on all the painting. So once that's done, it's just a matter of uh, painting within the lines and doing up all the rest of the colors. So Xandri Dust was just on the skull there, that on the headdress or whatever it's called for this guy. And then I'm doing up some of the black bits here, just touching things up basically, uh, the front of the mask and a little bit of stuff here and there. Okay, Kaldor Sky for the hoses um, all over the place and all the little bottles of uh, combat drugs or whatever they are in there. And uh, I'm going to be painting those up there. Okay, so now all the base colors are done. I'm doing the washes. So um, Jukai Violet on all the flesh bits. And then I'm going to be doing... Uh, Going to do some Dark Reaper here on the black highlights. Forgot to do that before I put the new oil on. So I like to do all my base colors and maybe a couple highlights before doing the washes. I do all the washes at once and then let them dry overnight. So uh, then the, once I'm done that, it's just a matter of finishing up really quickly. And uh, basically, once you get the washes done, um, the final highlights are very, very fast process. At least that's the way I find it for the, the method I use for painting. Okay, Agrax Earth, Agrax Earth Shade for the gold bits. And then a little bit of uh, Drakenhof Nightshade on the blue. And then we'll have Nulin Oil on the black. So I did those gray highlights so that the, uh, the Nulin Oil would uh, bring them down a touch and uh, just kind of blend things in a bit. Uh, these little vestigial arms, um, or whatever they're called, they, uh, I left those on the sprue just because the way that they're positioned there made it pretty easy to do that. Okay, so now I'm highlighting up the flesh with Paled Witch Flesh, and just trying to blend that as best I can on things to get a nice tonal uh, blending. It's pretty harsh otherwise if you don't do that. Uh, Rune Fang Steel, so I'm just doing some of the edge highlighting on the silver bits, trying to bring out any of those colors. Minimal highlighting on the silver, really, just enough to uh, to make it look a bit newer than after the wash. Again, as gold, again, not too much gold on here, so it's little bits here and there, um, again, to brighten up the gold and make it a bit more um, shiny. Okay, now Techless Blue, highlighting up some of those hoses and uh, bottles of things here and there. So with this one, um, I'm trying to draw kind of the line where the, the liquids are sitting there. And so trying to do basically where they would be by gravity. Um, so some of them are on angles and whatnot. Um, obviously, uh, things are moving around on the battlefield, so I'm not too worried about it being exactly level with uh, the way it sits. Okay, now 
basically finishing off with white scar highlights on those uh, the flesh bits and as well on the edge lines of the bottles just to give the, the final sort of uh, variation there. And uh, here we are, um, all done here. This is the painting guide and the finished painting uh, pictures and all these guides here will be on my blog. So check out the link in the description below or just head on over to my blog and you can see all these and use them for guides on your uh, own painting. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to check out all the other stuff on my blog and uh, channel here and see you next time.